What's up guys, welcome to the channel. On today's video, we have quite possibly got the most scale RC car or truck that you would have seen on this channel so far. So we have got this licensed Suzuki Jimny from FMS. The box, they do very well with their packaging and their presentation, and it only gets better as you open it. So let's not waste any time. Let's get this thing out of the box. Let's have a closer look at it. Whoa. Well, what can I say? This thing has got some weight to it and you always know when you've got something, especially like that's quite small like this, when it's got some weight to it, you know it's more than likely gonna be really good. Wow. Right, let's have a closer look and see what all the fuss is about. So it's 112 scale, it's a hard body. It is completely and fully hobby grade. There is absolutely no doubt about that. So let's look at some of the specs, what we've got there. Steel frame, chassis, metal frame rails, front and rear, three axle suspension, uh, scale engine houses a 180 motor with a two speed transmission, metal gears, Ball bearings, metal U-joint drive shafts, battery servo receiver, ESC, and light control all under the hood. Chic interior. The steering wheel is driven independently by a servo. This thing looks good. So set of instructions in the box. A char USB charger and wheel wrench or wheel hex. Very nice. It feels quite plush. We've got some controls on there. What have we got? You've got like four little mode switches. I guess we'll have to read the instructions for them. You've got steering jaw rate, steering trim, throttle trim, throttle jaw rate as well, steering throttle reverse, channel four, and a channel three. That feels really nice. And then the truck itself looks very nice in scale. Nice, soft tires. You've got some little uh, discs or rotors behind there as well. 380 milliamp hour, 7.4 volt, 2S LiPo. So under the hood, we have got lots of cool scale features. Let's get the battery leading aero out of the way. So the 180 motor is sat down there. There's all your scale engine stuff. This looks so cool. Licensed Suzuki body. Again, very, very nice. We'll open up the doors and stuff in a minute. They're quite, um, I just tried to open it and it didn't want to come open at first, so we'll give that a try in a minute. Same with the rear there, that's a bit difficult. I'm gonna read the instructions. There might be a special way to open them. Got metal hinges on the doors. That is awesome. I hope it's coming out on camera how scale this thing is. So steering servo there, metal steering links, decent suspension. I don't think it's oil. Again, scale features underneath as your exhaust, fuel tank, metal drive shafts, front and rear, diffs are locked, and this thing has got two speed gearbox. It's got, um, so actually, it's looking there. So there's your gearbox, and there's a drive shaft just in there that goes to a transfer case. So, front mounted motor and gearbox into a transfer case, then split to the rear. In the front diff. Right, let's try and get them doors open. Nothing in the instructions about how to get the doors and stuff open, so I'm gonna try and do that in a second. It does tell you in the instructions, though, what all these switches do. Big list there. It's all different configurations for your lights, so I'll have to read through that in a bit. Right, doors. I don't wanna force them. There's gotta be an easier way of doing them. Well, <laughs> that's pretty easy, that one. Wow, that is not easy. Definitely not easy to open these doors. Not sure whether I'm missing a trick here, but maybe it's because it's new. No, I don't know. Look at that, the front seat moves forward, look. So you can get in the back. Hard to see in there, but that looks really nice. Back seats that also fold flat. Wow, this is proper scale. The seats also move forward and backwards. Yes. There's a better view inside. That is crazy. If you're thinking of a scale figure, that guy's, I think he's about 16 centimetres. 
he's a little bit too big. So although it's 112 scale, he's a bit too big and I've cut his feet off as well. So he's a little bit big for that. Right, let's get a battery charge. Let's check the lights out, check the steering out, and check that wheel speed and stuff. Right, let's switch this on. I don't think, I initially thought that they were for the light modes, but apparently looking at the instructions, you press check, just press channel four, one press, two press, three press. It just cycles through the different modes of the lights. There's a lot of them. I'm not sure I'm gonna go through them all, but let's switch it on. And just to, to note, when the batteries are tucked away in there, it looks really good. Let's have a look then, steering. relatively quick. Now there's no lights on there at the moment for the steering. So I guess, press channel four. There we go, now we've got lights at the first press. Now a lot of stuff I've seen, you just get the red lights or you get the white lights straight away, but on this, you get brakes first then reverse. Now that is some attention to detail. So that was the second press A. Then they go brighter. Oh, and then we get some little driving lights or fog lights with flashing um, turn signals. This is cool. I don't think they do anything. Let's leave them off. I don't want to mess with it. Channel three is your gearbox. So, that's in low gear. Try slow control. Whoa, look at that. Now that is good. So that's low gear. Yeah, and that's high gear. So just for size comparison, this is, I think this is a 1 18th scale. Um, you can see a bit of a difference in size between 1 18th uh, 1 and 1 12th. And then a sneak peek, this is the 1 12th Willis Jeep from FMS as well, Rock Hobby. Uh, video coming for this soon, I've already done the video, I can't release it just yet. Um, but yeah, video coming of that soon. That's the Jimny. So I wouldn't say this is gonna be like some crazy off-road crawler and stuff. It's gonna be a very good like trail truck. They're almost, I'd say they're, they're road size really, but who cares? Look at the scale of it. And I guess if you wanna go off-road with it, it's just a case of swapping the wheels. I don't know if they hexed or whether they got special fixing. That's the hex they send with it and it doesn't fit. Hmm, that is not very good. This one should fit though. So they've got um, the wheels incorporate. They've got like a little uh, brake disc or rotor. I guess it's just a case of finding the right size hex you want there and then you can fit some different wheels and tires to it if you want to do a little bit more off-road stuff. I've only just noticed guys, look. Dunlop tires. That's it for this video guys, cheers for watching. Sorry, I can't take it out for a run on this video. I know it's something I rarely do, is not take stuff out for a run. I usually unbox it and take it straight out. Fortunately, I'm not allowed out at the moment because I'm going into hospital tomorrow, so I'm isolating. Just routine surgery for an injury I've been carrying for about six years now. But anyway, finally getting sorted. Um, there will be a run, hopefully next week. Links for this in the description, it's absolutely insane. It's going to take pride of place on one of my shelves, obviously after I've taken it for its initial run. Cheers for watching and on that bombshell, I will see you next time.